are at Illinois Beach State Park. Doing our morning wrap. Morning wrap. Well, let me let me start by saying that it's 36 degrees, and it was 36 degrees last night, and the electric blankets really just, <laughs> the electric blankets were everything. So I slept so well, I didn't wake up once. I slept through the night, Wow. great dreams, didn't wake up one single time. We're out here in 36 degree weather. Well, you missed the owl concert. I guess I missed the owl concert. Remember that sound? Uh, so the owls made noise while we were eating dinner, so I didn't dinner, and I did not know what it was because it was more of a, uh, well, you know, a when cry. The, when, we ah, the, ah. <laughs> when we turned the car on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you were in the car, and I'm like, turn it off. What is that? It was like, ah, what was that noise? It, it wasn't was, a hoo, hoo, it hoo. It was a strange, like, yeah, I think you had a good impression. It was more of a, ah, ah, <laughs> no, no. Uh, so, so that guy, that guy was up, and he was going for a couple of minutes, and then this is uh, later on. This is yeah, the night. two, three in the morning, and uh, so he was going for a while, and I was just kind of smiling, listening to him, and then all of a sudden, the others chimed in. So way down by the guy who has an ordinarily, ord ordinarily large tarp over his campsite <laughs> was the hoo, hoo, hoo. and then there was another ah, ah, <laughs> kind of farther down uh so we there were there were a bunch of owls and they were talking and when the hoo, hoo, hoo was talking the, the guy near us was quiet oh, okay. so they were like bouncing ideas you know they were solving global warming or something wow okay okay yeah it was pretty neat and then uh, coyotes right when we went to bed. Coyotes at 9 p.m. every night. The, on the dot, even with the time change. Yeah. So they adapted to daylight savings. I guess so. Yeah. Or I guess it's not daylight savings now. It's daylight savings before, but whatever. The time change, they should have gone off an hour earlier. And they... They're still uh, howling at 9 p.m. checking in on each other. A lot of communication between animals. Yeah. Um, that you know, I do not get in everyday life. Only <laughs> you, don't, you don't get that at Lakeside. No, okay. no. Um, only when I'm out here camping. Uh, I woke up this morning at 7:30, and there were uh, three deers at the campground right next to us, campsite right next to us. And uh, those guys had been hanging out all night, and uh, were there when we got there to set up last night so that's kind of their home yeah but so i saw them this morning and they're just sort of chilling and eating a lot of uh smoke coming out their mouths because it's cold and that was fun to see yeah mammals yeah who knew well i did not have an electric blanket but i did have the blanket on Electrified and it made a difference. It's comfortable. It is. It is a comfortable blanket. Where did you get them at? You know, I, I walked into Target to get Something I forget what it was. I never go there And it was an end cap sale $20 For an electric throw. It's not a it's not a bed blanket. It's a throw blanket for a couch And I thought well, that's pretty perfect and for twenty dollars, it's worth the experiment. So I picked a few up, and extra long cords. And, you know, it's it's if it's rainy, probably not a good idea. If it's snowing, you know, we got to make sure that the cord connections are protected. It's probably underneath the, the vestibule flap. But uh, it's a lot better than a lot of all their alternatives that might burn the tent down. Well, yeah, and, and I mean, I think it's so cool that it works in regards to the fact that most campgrounds have RV outlets at the campsites, so... Yeah, the way we're camping, we've got that. We've got that, and so, uh, yeah, that's... It is kind of nice, because nice the, the camping options are now so limited. There's only five or six places we can go around the Chicago area, 
and the expectation is you're an RV. There's no backcountry camping that's available. So it's not like we, we could otherwise be roughing it. We pretty much have to have the small selection in most campsites that are open, small selection of uh, spaces, and they all have power. The other thing is, you know, if we were to get a, a super cold sleeping bag, which is the normal thing to do, you know, there's are like three... The, the temperatures that go sub-zero? Yeah, those are like three or four or five hundred dollars a piece. So I'm weighing twenty dollars a piece to, you know, four hundred dollars a piece, and I'm thinking, we don't even know, it's still November, we haven't made it to December yet, we may just bail on the whole cold camping thing, but it, I don't, at this point, I think we're good to go. Shout out my budget travel. Okay. <laughs> A new sponsor of today's show. <laughs> what a gorgeous morning. So where are we hiking today? Well, uh, we're going to do Des Plaines River. It's a there and back. It's a straight line. Uh, the northern section. So we start at schoolhouse which I've been to but I completely forgot where it is so we gotta look that up and walk north so we're gonna be in Lake County I think for most of the most if not all the hike does Plains River hike which in is Lake County yeah and we're in Lake County now so oh yeah that's true uh, so it's kind of makes sense for us to have camp here Next week we might do Des Plaines River South, which is uh, Cumberland Avenue uh, at O'Hare, uh, where we start, and uh, then we walk south for five miles to North Avenue, and then turn around and come back. Today's hike is a 11 mile, something like that, 10, 11 mile. That's gonna feel great on my knee. It's a there and back, so if you start to hurt, we can always just turn around. No, I'm ready for it. All right. All right, good morning, America. Hello, friends. <laughs> <laughs>